Hello, Griffin. Phil, I'm bored. You're bored? You want to do something gonna... exciting? I, it, this is very exciting. We're about to fight bosses, and that's great and all. But, like, without – we can build our own decks now out of any cards we want, not just left left cards. Yeah. And so, like, I'm worried that the challenge just isn't going to be there this week. Uh, well, let's find out. I think uh, I've, I've actually heard from talking to Blizzard directly that there's some pretty challenging bosses in store this week. Well – Let's talk about, okay, four, that's pretty rough. Let's talk about the fact that you betrayed the sacred bond of trust that the two of us have together. And the you stoner's wrote, bond of trust. The stoner's bond of trust, and you wrote a whole goddamn feature on this wing. Yeah. So, like, you so, know exactly what's happening. You're, you're going to breeze you're right saying, through it. I'm going I'm to seem like an idiot over here. Just to clarify, what you're saying is that people could go to polygon.com on the internet. They could go into their web browser and type in www.polygon.com. And there could be an incredible feature about the bosses of this wing that they could mm -hmm. read right now. Can I can I read it right now and so we can be on equal footing? Because I'm going to be like a baby <laughs> no. child out there. No, that's okay. what I want. But, I want to. Uh, here we go with Razor Gore. Um, did you ever do Blackwing Lair, like the actual fight in? Uh, I don't think I ever actually did Blackwing Lair. I think I stopped at uh, what is it? L L, -L B R -A L. I forget the Lower acronyms. Black Rock Spire. I I haven't done this shit. I haven't played WoW in quite some time. Uh, uh, Razor Gore is a really Warcraft? ridiculous, complicated fight um, in the game. In 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 World of Warcraft, that is. In Hearthstone, uh, it looks like he summons corrupted eggs uh, and gives them all more health as he goes. Now, what is a corrupted egg? Is that like you hard-boiled it, but it was in too long, and then Chef Gordon Ramsay sent it back? Yeah. And you lose, no, you sure. get kicked that out of Master Chef? Right. Should we uh, – let's, let's try this paladin. That's kind of my go-to. One time when I was in Japan, I ate eggs that had been cooked in a sulfur spring, and they said it added seven years to my life, so I ate two of them. So I'm going to be 14 years older than you are when we both die together. <laughs> <laughs> well playing this. <laughs> well played. <laughs> this is a really good uh, opening hand here. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, all right, so Corrupted Egg. When this mini okay, when it has four or more health, it hatches. Don't pretend like these cards are surprises to you. I'm, you know that you know you've seen you. into the I'm gonna you've seen into the goddamn matrix code of these cards. I'm gonna explain it to you and to the people watching. This is what this does. And then uh, every every turn, he's going to summon another one and also give whatever ones are out there plus one health. So it's gonna get them one more uh, closer to hatching. I imagine whatever is in there is gonna be. Bad shit. Yeah, I think we want to kill these if we can. That knife juggler should help. Knife juggler will definitely help. What kind of deck is Razor Gore messing with, though? Because I imagine that's going to throw a, a kink into the woodworks. I wonder if he has, like, taunts. Try and keep me away. Oh. Oh, man. Well, at least we can drop that muster for battle, right? And yeah. Get three knives off. Let's, uh, okay, first off, let's kill this three. Good call. And you should be able to... Oh, God. All right. Ah. Uh, not great, but you got rid of two of them. He gets really mad that I'm destroying the eggs. Oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> Your knife juggler uh, was terminal. Oh, yeah, there's the... I was wondering if there would be some taunts in there. Try and protect the eggs that way. That makes sense to me. Um, let's just get two shielded mini bots. Yeah, why not? There's nothing, nothing to lose, I guess. So this is interesting because I think, I, I, yeah, like obviously we wanna we wanna keep these dying. I think you're I think you're managing them pretty well. Got a Twilight Whelp. That's adorable. So he's not holding a dragon right now. That's good. Yeah. Hmm. Weapon ready. Might wait on that knife juggler until you get something else out there. Nice. Clear the board. Yeah, why not? Yeah, this all seems good. Can I say something? You're playing very well right now. Everything's going Com really good. 
com compared to, well, let's say, your uh, past couple weeks' performance? Listen, I got four, was it four? Four wins with that There's deck? Four wins, and then there just straight go. loss. Ooh. Oh, I've never actually seen you play this card before. I love Emperor Tharson. Can I make a confession to you? Yeah. I haven't I haven't played any of this content yet. No, that's fine. On my on my own on my own. I think I'm waiting for all of it to be out. Um I haven't played in a while. I'm just worried I'm gonna have to spend like an entire day, like an entire twenty four hour period fixing my decks up. Yeah, I mean you probably will. Your decks are probably all out of date. Um a lot of the same decks from Goblins vs. Gnomes are still good. Uh, it's just that you wanna you'll wanna take some of these new cards and like sort of modify them and be like, oh, I'm gonna replace this with this. Yeah, sure. I, I've been I've been I've been debating switching classes because I've been a pretty like pretty much like a, uh, a rogue purist mm -hmm. like for a really long time. I haven't like messed with anything else, and I feel like if maybe if I switched classes, maybe it would like freshen the game up for me. Yeah, it's a good time to switch classes too. There's a lot of like. Just interesting stuff out right now. Let's, well, let's just do that. 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 And. Get that. Dr. Boom out there! What? Oh. That. And that. How how could you not get excited about Dr. Boom? I thought you guys were. were, were I mean, gross. I love Dr. Boom. I like the idea of Dr. Boom. I got the knife juggler out first. <clears throat> Because I like the idea of getting three knives off when I summon Dr. Boom. Oh, that's right. Uh, this fight's going very, very, very well. Yeah, no, I mean, I think we're pretty good to go here. There's a knife, too. That's nice. Oh, it's terrific. Let's just uh, see what Let's happens. See what happens. Tight. I think we're good. I'm proud of you, Phil Culler. God damn, that was a stomping. I actually didn't know that this if this deck would work, but uh, turns out it's a that's a pretty good deck, dude. Worked out just fine. The fairy is not ever raise, Are they ever gonna raise the level cap? I hope so. Uh, so we get revenge. Uh, deal one damage to all minions. If you have 12 or less health, deal 3 damage instead. This is a warrior card. Um, sort of like Mortal Strike continues that, that trend of like warrior cards where you're getting more out of it uh, if you're hurt. Sure, but it's all minions. So like, yeah. If, if it was just enemy minions, that would be like a totally badass card. But now it's going to be even more situational. Like you have to have been yeah. taken a beating. And it's and... funny because like, you know, the one damage for all minions works really well with a card like Grim Patron, which is big in warrior decks right now. But three damage for all minions means all of your Grim Patrons are just dead. Are dead, yeah. Alright, so this is okay. uh, Vale Strez, um, <laughs> whose hero power is a zero cost. It's going to play every turn. Each player draws two cards. So basically, for this deck, you're getting three cards gotta... every turn. Do you have a, like a rush deck, something with really shitty card advantage? Um, Doomlock maybe. Yeah, I mean, my my hunter thing is kind of a rush deck. How do you not have like a rush deck? I mean, that's a hunter thing is kind of a rush deck. You're saying kind of? I, I don't I really like. Something. I don't like playing rush decks, so I, I kind of like. I get bored with them quickly, so I tend to not really like focus on them. But I, I think this hunter thing will do. This is going to be interesting. Um, so this is another another interesting fight where they, they kind of... Uh, Dr. Boom in my rush deck. That's how much of a rush deck it is. Yeah, pretty good rush deck, dude. <laughs> Great work, Phil. Uh, this is bad. Like, I'm, I'm talking about fish monsters. I'm you talking want me to about... bring out my Murloc deck again? Man, it doesn't have to be just murlocs. I want to see some what is diseased gnomes. Is that knife juggler? Yeah, this you're not gonna win with this deck, I don't think. Can't say that. I I I can't. I'm actively rooting against you now. Oh, I have so many cards already. Yeah, that's what I'm There's saying. You gotta get some of these shits. He's well, he also cards. is burning them. 
Oh, wow, nice. He just stole my knife jugglers. Uh, this is... This is a really interesting fight, um, because the way it worked in, uh... In the actual raid is essentially, like, this dragon gets corrupted by Nefarian, and he, uh... He kind of, like, buffs all the players beforehand, because he doesn't want to be corrupted. He's like, I want you to kill me. Um... It's kind of dark. A little bit. I'm gonna just blow this hunter's mark. Because I've Why? got to, right? I've got too many cards. I mean, it could be helpful, though. You're fine. Play two cards, and you'll you'll be okay. All right, if you say so. Uh, anyways, just, so that... the card thing's interesting because it's kind of like their version of like buffing you that way. Oh no. Well, thanks, dude. Okay, uh, can I say something? Hmm. That's like the second time that I've seen that happen in this expansion, where they blow uh, like a, a thing like that that buffs you, but it also does damage, but it doesn't kill you. It's just such a terrible like play. Yeah, the AI. I, I, for the, is for the not... most part, I would say, the, I'd say the AI is actually usually pretty good, but like there are some goofs that, like that that it does that's just like completely mind-boggling. Whoa. Hmm. Where did all those imps come from? Uh, he did implosion, which is a uh, deals I two see, to four damage, see, and then it gets an imp for every damage that it does. Of course, he got. Why'd you leave that one imp out there? Uh, I've got a freezing trap, so it's just gonna attack me and then get put back into his hand. Okay, see there now. Now he's doing it right. And that he's playing cards. <laughs> <laughs> he's well, he's playing cards that like actually kill your your minions instead of making them more badass. Also, it's really great that he only played one of those giants, and not six of them. You got... Damn it, Phil. You had the win. Or did I have enough? You had kill command right there. That's five command. damage. Your thing is two, and then... Now you don't have the mana for it. It's too late. And, oh, wait, wait. No, drop your dog in there. There you go. Man, I was about to be so mad at you. Yeah, I mean, I was going to win regardless. This, this wasn't... But I got shit to do today. I want wins. On wins on wins. <laughs> You've killed one of the good guys. <laughs> Does this make you sick? <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, we got the Flame, Walker, uh, Flame Waker here. Uh, this is a mage card. After you cast a spell, deal two damage, randomly split amongst all enemies. Uh, That's pretty fun. Good. Pretty good. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's not, not a bad three cost at all. For a mage. Um, it reminds maybe me that's... of the Shadow Boxer a little bit. Yeah, maybe that's the class I'll move on to next. There's some good mage decks going on right now. Look at him. I made a mech mage deck that was pretty fun. I just didn't polish it. What's this guy working so, with? So, Chromagus, uh, he has a zero cost hero power called Brute Affliction. At the end of your turn, add a Brute Affliction card to your opponent's hand. Um, so, he's going to be giving us certain special cards the end of our turn um that sounds really nice of him let's do back to our paladin here um i'm i'm really interested so in in the feature where i talked with blizzard they said chromagus is something they the thing that he's doing is something they've never tried in the game he's rolling before. dice instead of playing cards I will sort of yeah Beautiful. That's gorgeous. That zombie chow right out there. I gave him two hands because I figured, hey, double the biting. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty good. So oh, interesting. 
Brute Affliction Dash Green. Restores two health to your opponent at the start of your turn while it's in your hand. Um, so yeah, oh, so you have to burn mana yeah, to get rid of that. It's something where you get to choose. Do you dispel it? Uh, do you get rid of it? Or do you leave it in your hand? In this case... That's so awesome. I'm not going to take a down cool... any of his health anyway, so I'm going to leave it in my hand. That is a cool mechanic, man. Yeah, and it sounds like, you know, from, from talking with... with uh, Ben Brody is the lead designer, uh, senior designer of, of Hearthstone. Oh. oh, shit. Take one damage at the start of your turn. There you go. Um, so... It sounds like they're they're very much uh, interested in bringing this kind of stuff into the game proper. Um, which I would I... certainly be... I don't know. It would be interesting, right? Because it you would have to choose the right time to play it, but you would also have to choose, like... I don't know if you're playing uh, 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 against a, an enemy that has like a uh, questing adventurer out there. Maybe you don't want to fill his hand up with these super low cost cards. Oh man, I wish we had questing adventurer. I know, dude. Yeah, that's that's interesting. There's like ways that you could like use it against them almost. Well, this is in your hand. Chromagus' spells cost one less. Get that shit out of there now. Mm. Yeah, actually, I'll, I'll dump both of these. Maybe silence him? Yeah. <laughs> nice! Hi! That was amazing. Worked out perfectly. Love it. So you're playing like a champion right now. Um, Whenever your Just opponent casts a spell gain, plus two, plus two... And these are spells. So that's pretty good. Oh, that's a really shitty one. You need to kill them toot sweet. Maybe uh, maybe play something and see if you can uh, get a knife in one of those guys and then yeah, trade out. Here we go. Knife juggler. Performed his Thank task you for your admirably. This is in your hand. Whenever Kermegas draws a card, he gets another copy of it. It's pretty good. Yeah, some of those are pretty nasty, man. Yeah, I might as well just get rid of this. Hey. That could have been better. <laughs> mad, mad, I mean, I love to see his face. I just get happy when, every time I see Mad Bomber, but... And his battle cries where it's at. Your opponent has fifteen or less health gain three plus three. That's a that's that's rude. That's a rude card. Yeah, that's a rough card. Reporting for duty. I really want to see what this fight looks like on heroic. Yeah, we can check this one out on heroic after we're done crushing through all of this content. It's weird that I, I don't know why it is that the uh, that the previous week gave us so much, or the the first two weeks gave us so much trouble. Well, maybe if you'd written a, a goddamn feature on the last week's bosses. And I mean, last week didn't give us trouble though, and this week hasn't really either. Yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, that's right. Last week we we destroyed it, but the week before Did that. You, what? Deal damage equal to your hero's attack to him. Yeah, he didn't have anything. He didn't have any attack. No. What are you even doing? Anyways. Okay, next fight, you can only play the leftmost card that you can play in your no. hand. No. <laughs> yeah. The people love that shit. We went viral. Did you realize? <laughs> Uh, so we got Hungry Dragon, summon a random one cost minion for your opponent. That's interesting. So the idea yeah. is you're getting a you're getting a five six for four, which is pretty good. But well, what if you get Shield Bear out there? Uh, <laughs> then you just concede. <laughs> yeah, that's game. Here we go. Oh. So, 
I really like this. Uh, they mentioned this to was me. Was that a plot twist oh. in the? <laughs> it's a plot twist. Uh, if, you know, when when we started, Nefarian was on our side and saying, "Yeah, go kill Ragnaros. I hate that guy. Go kill him." Now that we're going against Nefarian, Ragnaros is like, "Yo, I'll help. I'm still here." <laughs> <laughs> What's okay? What's the hero power here? <laughs> Ragnaros is, wants you to know yeah, he's got your I back. I cannot wait to see what this fight is all about. Uh, hero power is let the games begin. True form. So I think it's going to be just him transforming into a, a dragon. Um, stick with the paladin. Stick with what we know. Is Onyxia the final boss of? No, it's Black it's uh it's Nefarian. Yeah, uh, it's Nefarian. He's the final boss this wing and and the next wing as well. Is he just gonna run away? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Is he out. gonna concede with one hit point left? Hmm, that's not great. That's pretty bad. Well met. <laughs> uh, let's see what he does here. Oof. Oh, he has... He has yeah. 10, 10 mana right away. And 60 and hit points, basically. Six, yeah. Where's Ragnaros at? Uh, so his, right. his hero power is now put a random spell from your opponent's class into your hand. Um, so he could get any paladin spell. What is what's going on? Is this like one of those RPG fights you're supposed to lose? I think we need Ragnaros real bad. Is he even in your hand? I mean, he's definitely not in my hand. I don't. Ragnaros. <laughs> Man, what is going on? Oh. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Zero cost four five with Wind Fury. I'm pretty. I'm That's pretty tight. But wait, wait, wait. Do you have a taunter? Does, is Eldor Peacekeeper a taunter? No, but I'm gonna lower this guy's attack to one. Yeah, because you don't want uh, you don't want to lose that four five now. He's got. He's got a cleave. That's not a paladin spell. Cheating. This is okay. There's obviously some like goofy mechanics going on here, but this is not going to be like. This is not going to be an easy fight. Yeah. You're going to have to use your Ragnaros cards like really, really, really smart. Whoa. To a random enemy. Yeah, so. Hmm. You're not set up. You're not in a good way right now. I'm gonna hold on to it. Yeah, I like this because this is basically just what Ragnaros does, I guess. Oh yeah. I guess that uh makes a lot of sense. Damn, dude. Oh, that's a that is a bad table. Let's see what you get. Hey, that's actually probably one of the better. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, How about an AOE? Battle cry deals six damage. Yeah, okay. Drop that five six then. Yeah. Oh god, he's got a secret out too. Oh Christ. That's okay. Nah, I guess it wasn't that much higher to begin with. Man, if you can get to 10 mana and still have, like, a lot of health, you might have a shot at this. I mean, it's nice that the Ragnaros cards he's sending are all zero cost. That helps a lot. Yeah, yeah that's pretty great. Oof. God damn. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> Is that a blood imp? Yeah. Hey, buddy. <laughs> it's uh, honestly not bad at all. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. All right. Still no taunters? You drop him and put Blessing of Light up on him? 
That's what I like to see. It's pretty good. I like that. Maybe it'll be 810. Yep. Well, farts. Yes, awesome. Put the, you gotta do the 16 damage to him. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. This fight is so bonkers. I'm like still trying to wrap my mind around it. Yeah, I mean, maybe if you, maybe if you break his armor, he'll run away. <laughs> I still feel like this fight is gonna end with him leaving the fight before he he dies. That's like why on earth would you not have attacked the other guy? Yeah, that's that's maybe not. That was like such a bad play. Oh, that's a taunt. Perfect. Six, six taunt. Two six six taunts. One of them has a shield. Oh, uh, you maybe should have attacked before you. Oh, that's a death rattle. Sorry. We, we good. Yeah, we're looking real good now, because he made a really bad play last turn. Is that six seven? Ugh. There it is, finally, Jesus. Sure, okay, yeah. Making better moves now. Okay, see, now he's playing like a champion. Now you're, now you're in some yeah, trouble. Yeah, yeah. What's the uh, Ashbringer do again? Which? The weapon you got? Oh, it's just a 5-3. Oh, okay. This is very powerful. Hmm. For duty. For justice. This might be a photo finish. Yeah, I'm just going to swing at his face and assume he's going to do misplays. Well, he may kill you. Yeah, you're done. That's assuming... Yeah, I, I don't want to assume that he's going to play right here. Nah, he's playing right. Damn. Yes, I think he cracked the code. Damn, dude, you were so close. It was real close. Um, but now you know what's up. I mean, yeah. you knew what's up before because you wrote a goddamn feature about this guy. You wrote about his backstory, his birth, mm -hmm. how he got into the whole, like, turning into a dragon game. His favorite um, foods. His, his favorite foods, his inspirations, his heroes. What? Hmm. I'm, should we... What deck could I use? What deck would be good? What's a, what's a deck that doesn't... Uh... Honestly, I, th I feel like if you had more taunters, you could have had him. I feel like that's the secret of this deck is keeping your those Wind Fury badass dudes alive and buffing them, buffing them right up. Let's go. Uh... Maybe a priest deck with some taunters and the Velen's Chosen. Uh, but then he buff. can get Velen's Chosen too. Yeah, that's a good point. That's like the that's the big scary thing, right? Can you make a deck that doesn't have any class specific cards in it? No, he so he's not pulling them from your deck. He's pulling it from your class. It can be any card that your class has, uh, any spell card that your class has, not just oh, any see. that's in your. Well, deck. then don't do a priest then, because you can. You, even if you buff up your guys, they'll get shadow. Root. So who has the shittiest spells, basically? I mean, for my money, it's a paladin, which I'm sure you're not happy to hear. Wow, how how could you? Or a shaman. You can make him burn those mana crystals. Although he's, I think he's just gonna have ten every round. Well, okay. First off, let's let's get these buffs. Think, think of it this way. What class is weakest at the end game? Get those Avenge in there. Um, let's get one Redemption. I like that. Um, 
This um, is tricky. I honestly, I don't know how to how you would plan for this. Okay, let's let's just do taunts. No, like you said, let's just uh. I mean, put do good taunts. Are there good taunts? Do good taunts exist? Uh, I like the Booty Bay Bodyguard. You at least get five for five. I mean, watch your mana curve, though. Yeah, we're fine. Probably. Get Hogger up in here. Um, yeah, why not? Let's get... Oh, AoEs. That's what you needed more of last time. I guess you don't have a whole lot in that department. Yeah, I mean, I can do another... Uh, I can do double yeah, concentration. Definitely have to... Yeah. Um, I could do Avenging Wrath, but... You need to get some, some lower cost cards in there, too. Nah. Okay. I'm getting, I'm getting all these zero cost. We'll be fine. I'll get Emperor Tharse in it to help lower the cost of stuff. Um, maybe throw in Sylvanas. Oh, Defender of uh, Defender of Argus. Oh sure, yeah, yeah. Or wait, is that what it's? Yeah. All right. Let's see how this goes. This is a weird. Call deck. this one. How about taunt, taunt, call this one Sting? Sting's taunt trick. Well, I don't... Taunt, taunt, taunt trick. How about just taunt? That won't fit. How about just taunt trick lovemaking? That's great. Looks like that works. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> See, it's fun because it's a pun, but it's also kind of uh, a little blue. Just a little bit. This deck is going to be terrible. This is a really bad deck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I think I, I, I agree with your general uh, thesis here of get some taunts out there to keep your, your dudes alive. Um, so I'm hoping this will be enough for us to work with in that respect. Um, but it does have a really awful mana curve, so there's that. That's not a bad draw, though. Well, yeah, not bad. Having the equality there for the future is good. He's being very rude right now. Okay. All good. There he is. Go ahead and concede, bro. How can you even hope to kill Anoyatron? Oh, Jesus. Well, hmm. <laughs> kind of immediately like, oh, maybe, maybe just equality. Well, let's see what, what Daddy Ragnaros gives you. Here we go. Okay. Please don't hit this guy. What if it hits that guy? I'm going to be... I mean, this is stoners, oh, and we're doing it live, so of course it's going to hit that guy. For justice. Much better. Good work, one Phil. On one down. <laughs> Good work, Anoyatron. For Blackwing. You know, Anoyatron just loosened the lid on this pickle jar. And if you pop it off, it's, it's all thanks to him. Avenging Wrath. Nice. Yeah, take that 6-6 six, six out. Maybe, uh... Buff him up right away? Buff. Yeah, I mean, he'll still be able to... It'll make him 10-7. Uh, I can buff oh, this now guy. you're fine. 
Or no, no, no. Buff, buff, buff the flame guy, I think. Yeah. I like that. I think we can do it. I believe in us. Damn. Ooh, yeah. Oh, man. And he's back up to 30-30. Annoyatron, you did nothing. But you cleared the board. Remember when I said that I thought we could do it? Well, let's see. Uh, don't give up. Well, don't play anything until Ragnaros gives you a shit. You gonna save it? I'm gonna save it because I think clearing the board is probably gonna end up being more important than just doing a damage to him. Yeah, honestly, I feel like the trick to this fight is gonna be getting to 10 mana before he murders you. Well. I'm starting to think maybe Mage is gonna be good for this because a flame strike close to the end of the game is gonna be like, probably what wins it for you. All right, that's not bad. Thinking of doing just doing this, just letting it go. Yeah, let's see what happens. I bet you're not gonna kill either of the minions on the board, but oh, really? Holy shit! Oh really? That was insane. I could drop this too, but I'll just Well, it could hit is it enemy random minion or random minion? Random yeah, it could it hit. hit him. Right. I'll hold on to it a little bit longer. Have that in my pocket. Oh. Oh, farts. It's rock. A gift of the fire knights. Nice. You need you need, gotta slow your roll. If you play a card before Ragnaros gives you his card, I'm gonna be so cross. I'm gonna be Agent Alex cross with you. Yeah, do it. You got another taunter on the board. What's up now? Yeah, you're gonna build a goddamn wall. Well, that's fine. Look at that. Perfect. So that was amazing. Oh shit. Shit birds. Damn, dude. Ugh. That was so bad. Ugh. Where, where are these Wind Fury guys? Whoa. So I forgot this is a deal six damage. Should I hold on to him until there's something on the board for me to deal nah, against? No, 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 no. Just Go deal ahead. against him? Yeah, you need to get him out there and then you can deal, keep dealing six damage. Teach a man to fish, you know? A bird in the hand. God, that humility. <laughs> I know. It would have been so such amazing. such a bummer. I think you're looking pretty good, though. A Consecrate would wreck your shit. Oh, my God. How about God. Equality Consecrate? Nope. Okay. All right, you have one round that you're going to be able to hurt everybody with. There is that Whirling Ash. <laughs> this is my responsibility. This is my responsibility. What are you thinking? I was wondering if I could should get rid of that, but I kind of feel like I've got so many taunts that needs yeah, to go through anyways. Like so. great, yeah, it's not a great trade. Doesn't really matter. I'll listen to you. <laughs> you can't be killed. Phil Kohler hacked the game. Okay, so we don't have any dragons. Nice. A tiger. 
thinking of uh yeah yeah, yeah. well don't actually should uh, I do it I, to these guys yeah don't don't make your wind fury guys taunters one of these yeah i like that because then you're gonna have a divine shield taunter yeah seven two i actually have too much on the board i cannot play any other <laughs> that's where we've gotten one AoE is still gonna. I don't think he's got it though. I mean, he could get a consecrate any round. Like he could pull that from me at random, but it looks like it's not happening. I think we won. I think our dumb deck did it. Let's not count our chickens. Yeah, you got it. That's awesome. Yes. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of us. I feel like this was a group effort. Drop that die insect on him. Yeah. In style! Nope. <laughs> right. right. That was a really neat fight. It's an interesting one, right? I'll say that we may have had like a kind of easy time with some of these fights, but I feel like this is a way more interesting wing than, than the last one we did. Yeah, and I, I really liked that idea of the Chromagus thing, too, of like those debuffs. Like, that was really cool. Uh, Fireguard Destor Destroyer is a new Shaman card. Gain 1 to 4 attack when you play it, so it's a 3-6 plus 1 to 4 attack. It's a, This is like a... This is an awesome card. Like this is a, Yeah, unless you get that 1 attack. Even that, it's a 4-6 four, for 4. Yeah, that's still and one over. Yeah, that's still real good though. I feel like uh, most of the time this is going to be excellent. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, what do we get for a legendary? We got Chromagus. That was an eight cost, and whenever you draw a card, put another copy into your hand. So that was one of his. Uh, what were they called? Yeah. One of his debuffs. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty sweet. I want to see. Uh, I want to see Chromagus on heroic just to see what that. Uh, Let me go look at this. That looks I, like. I still need to play all these class challenges. Oh, Philip. Uh, so we got the Warlock challenge, which gives you Demon Wrath, deal two damage to all non-demon minions. That's nice. Something to to improve on uh, demon decks, which are um, they go up and down in popularity. But I always like when there's a new thing to make them popular again. Uh, and the rogue challenge is Dark Iron Skulker, which deals two damage to all undamaged enemy minions. That's that's pretty cool. That's a pretty good card. I feel like. I mean, it's a the stats aren't incredible, but stats like, are pretty bad. If you're playing this in like a more control rage deck, uh, rogue deck rather, where you're trying to uh, to really uh, keep the game a little bit slower than a lot of rogue decks are, I think this one will fit real well. Um, okay, you wanted to check out. Chromagus on heroic. Is that? Yeah. I just want to see if each of those debuffs are like more gnarly. Oh man, you haven't even seen the Blackrock stuff either. Yeah, I'm scared of heroic mode. Tantric lovemaking. Ugh. Griffin. Yeah, I, the, the, the longer I sit on that one, the less <laughs> good I feel about it. What would Chad Sexington think of that? Got a good start. 60 health. Okay. I've seen I've seen worse. I gave him two heads because I figured hey, double the biting. He's got a fairy dragon now, so that's pretty bad. Oh. Oh no, the cost oh my god, the cost is it's, way higher. And also it's restore six health to your opponent, which I believe it was like three before. Man, that's rough. So this is a that's a that's a toughie. Now he's got that dragonkin out already. Ugh. Oh, doing three damage to me. Whew. For three mana, that's that's killer, man. Wow, that's yeah. This is gonna be a very very hard match. Oh, damn it! Oh shit! <laughs> I forgot. Oh no! Oh. His spells cost three less. Oh my god! Yeah, so god. it's just it's just like like which one sucks the most? They all suck so bad. 
We'll just, uh, we're good. Oh my god, that's free. <laughs> yep, it is. Oh my god. <laughs> you can just keep drawing infinite free yes! Yep, this is worse. <laughs> Holy shit. Nobody's ever going to beat this fight. Uh, I think people will be. There, there's probably people already at the time that we are saying this who have beat it. Nope, they don't exist. Yeah. Pretty good attempt, though. Pretty good run One at it. One day. One day I'm going to take on these heroic modes and actually figure out how to how to do these, but that is not today. Uh, all right, well, we have one one week left. Uh, the uh, Hidden Laboratory in week five. Apparently, Nefarian will be back, he said, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, and we will uh, we'll be back next week to check it out. I ain't afraid. I'm not afraid of no ghosts. If there are ghosts there, I'm out. I, yeah, I yeah. should have said that up front. Mm -hmm.